In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can combat or stop one of the most popular checks out of the gun bunch formation via a match defense, even when they go to a quads formation in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I just want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. I also want to let you know that in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 46 playbook. Primarily, we're going to be focusing on the nickel 335 wide. And I actually just released a major update to my 335 wide defensive guide on my Patreon. So if you want to get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks, I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides, as well as several updates to those guides that we release. We pretty much release new updates every single week. If you want to get access to all of that stuff, uh, be sure to join my Patreon membership. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. For just $10 a month, uh, you get access to literally everything uh, that I have over there. I've got 18 ebooks, over 100 updates to those guides with different tweaks and twists um, that you can use. So if you want to get access to all that stuff, again, there's a link in the description below that you can go check that out um, after the video is over. But guys, uh, I wanted to talk today specifically about a concept that you see a lot now from bunch players. And really, it's a check that they'll call um, for a couple of different reasons. I'm going to talk about two primary reasons today that they're going to go into this formation, but it's really out of the Cincinnati playbook. Uh, Henry and Wesley, I think, actually made this very popular, um, this little audible, because of the fact that it does mess with the match principles of the coverage. It also allows you to have significantly more success against man-to-man, -man, uh, which we're going to show you here in just a second. So when they start to see a lot of match or a lot of man-to-man, -man, they're going to check into this bunch out back strong out of the Cincinnati playbook um, and primarily into a very specific play that is a very good man-beater uh, which I'm going to go over here right now for you. So uh, let's just jump in here. So what I did was I set some audibles in the bunch strong here. I've got the uh, flanker drive with that tight end wheel. I've got the bench pivot, PA bunch shot, and wide trail. Now for bench pivot, you could sub this out for, you know, inside zone if you wanted to or, you know, any of the other concepts. But uh, primarily we're going to be focusing on the play action play uh, from this formation. And again, we want to start in bunch and then audible too. Bunch halfback strong. Now, on the nickel 335 in the 46 book, I've got safeties at the linebacker position. We like to audible down from 335 normal. Number one reason is because it does get you better personnel, but I think even more importantly, it allows you to get better adjustments. You can put those guys in cross man assignments on anyone on the field, which is really important whenever they audible into bunch halfback strong because of the fact that this is going to allow them to have a significant advantage on your match coverage. Okay? So if they were to run, so if we were just in this basic cover four show two here, and let's say that the opponent was to run something like a bunch trail style concept here with a wheel in a post. So something that looks, uh, something that looks kind of like this here. What you'll see is that we're gonna match coverage. Our co match coverage is gonna take the corner and we're also gonna get match coverage there. So we're gonna get double teams on both of the over routes or both of the deeper patterns on the field and it's going to allow us to have better coverage. However, if they, let's say for example, that they audible over to this bunch halfback strong and they basically run the exact same thing. The only difference is gonna be now we're going to wheel the running back and we're gonna do it just like this. So you see it looks kinda of like this, okay? So if we run, they run the exact same thing, what you're gonna notice here on the defense, if you just look to the right side for me, you're gonna notice that this coverage on that corner route is going to be a lot looser as you can see it gets open on the sideline the other thing you're going to notice and this is a check uh, again if, if let's say we're making some checks in the audible menu and we want to put this guy in man coverage on the tight end or let's say for example we want to put this guy in man coverage on the slot um, for for you know verticals or something like that and then they check into this concept this can really mess up your play because now they're running something you know completely different than what you're planning to guard so they go to something like this, and now you take a look there, the corner route's open, but not only is that open, but now you see you got this guy going over the top of the coverage. And this is also something that they like to do from man coverage. So uh, if you look to the left side here, this is kind of the primary way they can tell if it's man or zone. You see here, this is a cover four. If I audible down into a cover four, you're gonna see that the corner on the left is outside of the player. If I audible to cover one robber, you'll see that he moves to the inside of the player. So this is kind of their cue that you're in man-to-man -man coverage. So let's say you run a coverage like this, they're gonna go to something like this PA 
uh, bunch shot. And if you watch this post route out of this out of this formation here, uh, what you're going to see is it does a really good job at beating man to man to the inside. You see how good of a separation it gets, and you get it over the top, and you can typically beat man for a one play score. So that's kind of the chess match or the cat and mouse game that you're in when you play somebody that is a very good or an experienced bunch player. So let's say, for example, that you um, they, they start doing this a lot on you, right? So they're going to go to this check, and this is what they're going to run. Really what you want to do is still go back to the kind of old faithful of the cover four show two, which is my favorite defense in the game. It's just when you go to bunch strong, you're defend, you want to defend it just a, a slight difference um, in terms of how we're going to defend this. So we're still going to call cover four show two. We're still going to press. We're still going to shade our coverage up. What I also like to do is shade that corner on the left a little bit inside. Just helps a little bit with the comp with the um, with the disguise of the defense. But now the running back, if you take a look here, is on the right side. Okay, so that's where the, kind of the big shift comes in. What I like to do is uh, purple both of my linebackers, so you don't necessarily have to shade your coverage up, but I do like to. But just purple both of your linebackers. So put both outside linebackers in curl flats. We're going to bluff blitz the defensive end that is on the running back side. So that's defensive end to the right side of the screen. We're then going to take the slot and man him up on the slot receiver. Because in this formation, the one thing that you do have going for you in terms of how you're going to want to defend this formation is if you look through, there's not a corner route in this formation like a Z-spot corner route. So the corner routes aren't getting deep, right? Even the one at the tight end isn't necessarily getting super deep in the play. So they're going to have to run something kind of like, you know, this, if you will, on top of that post. So what you'll see is when you have a safety and inside quarter on the left side of the screen, especially out of cover four show two, this is something really subtle that match coverage will do against quad sets that you don't quite recognize at the initial. What you'll notice is this inside quarter will swap off and you'll see that he'll cover him all the way up the seam. Now, I want to show you what they're going to do in, in, in conjunction or counter to that in just a second. But if you take a look here, this poster is really, really good. Like, it's probably the best poster in the game, from at least from a bunch style set. And what you'll see is you get this swap off here. Now, if they were to, let's say they run like a, a crossing route or something. Now, this guy's free to kind of bail back to this. So he crosses or passes this off to this guy really well. And you see this plays fairly decently. Now, let me take a look over here to the right side, and if you take a look at the corner route, you're gonna see that because it's not a deep, deep corner route, take a look at this match coverage. Not too bad, not too bad. You're, you're in the ballpark of ability to be able to hang with it. You may not, you know, again, you may not like just completely bag it, but you do have somewhat of a ballpark er area or ability to be able to guard it. Another coverage that I really like out of this is what's called, um, man, I'm gonna butcher the name, uh, cover eight, or half quarter quarter what that basically means is this is a really good coverage for quads is we're going to play half quarter quarter uh with our deep with our deep secondary so if we were going to that set up their pa bunch shot and we're going to run a corner route and then we're going to run something like this this is a really good coverage for that uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to use these two quarters on the left side and then we're going to put a curl or a, a deep half and a cloud flat on the right. So you see that's what that looks like over there. That allows us now to have man coverage on the slot, a vertical hook, and a three rack. So you see how this defense kind of looks now, really in a nice little position to be able to defend because now you've got a cloud flat that can cover pretty much all of those corner routes. If you take a look here, you'll see the cloud flat will cover the corner on the right, and then you also have that inside quarter really bagging the post uh, over the over the top. Now, what they're gonna do in response to this is a specific motion. Now, what this is actually gonna be, I, interestingly, is actually gonna be very advantageous to the defense for them to do this motion. And the motion that they're gonna employ is they're gonna use their tight end to basically clear out any zones to the right. So what you'll typically see is a concept that looks kind of like this, if you will. Um, it's a little bit of a shot play, but this is kind of what they're gonna look at here. And if they don't run, you know, this, this these two guys can be on basically any version of that. They could also be on something that looks like this, or they could be on something that looks um, like this. Let me show you real quick. There you see it, okay? So you've got two kind of combinations that you might see. Typically, it's gonna look like this if they're trying to really blow up your coverage, okay? So that's kind of what you basically get here. 
So when you audible, um, when you audible down into your cover for show two, obviously this guy he will show, but that's it's not really that. And it's a big deal, but not that big of a deal. Because now, if you take a look at your coverage, your match coverage is now going to basically work like it used to. So if we run the basic match concept that we used to run, and it's set up just like this here, all we have to do is re-quarter the safety and the, and the outside guy on the right when they do that motion. It's really not that big of a deal. If you want to cross-man the tight end, that is also helpful. But what you're going to see now is typically, you're going to probably have to hang with the crosser, but I just want to show you the routes. You'll see that this post... You typically have a decent shot at being able to catch up to it and actually play it. That corner on the right will run all the way stride for stride with it. So that's the difference between this and a traditional cover four drop. So like I'm in cover four drop from 335 normal. And what you'll notice here is if I go to that same exact route combination, typically what's going to happen is this post to the right uh, will be open, especially with a the rollout. They got great blocking from the play action here. So they're going to roll out. If you watch this deep post, a lot of times he'll get over the top of even the cover four drop. Okay, doesn't quite do it there for us, primarily because we didn't have a slant on the field. Um, you know, but but anyways, that's kind of the concept that they're working. So you can easily come back around if they motion. Now you're in traditional. This is a traditional two by two. This is basically. Um, it's not exactly gun doubles, but it's very similar in terms of how the defense is going to defend it. So what you can do is you know let's say you want to cross main the tight end that's going to help your match coverage a little bit just in terms of how it's going to play um just in terms of how it's going to play specifically against this in particular concept you want to kind of hang with the crosser the match coverage will take the quarter the corner pretty well you'll see their corners taken uh, tight ends taken and then you're really responsible for the crosser on the left side of the field so other than that this plays really really well and you know, not they're not always going to run a in a deep crosser. For example, you know, you might get a motion, you might get a motion over to this, and then they motion this guy across, and then and you know, again, they're trying to really bomb your coverage, so they might go with a slant and a corner. And when you're in something like this, it's pretty, it's honestly fairly safe. Um, if you really wanted to, you could take this guy and put him in some kind of zone deep. I don't think that's necessarily necessary. Um, what I'd rather do is just kind of help this. So I'm just going to get up back here, stay on top. Oh, it's a slant? Okay, I know I can pass that off, and I'm going to come back and help. So this coverage right here is my favorite coverage to adjust out of. We have a huge video in our Patreon membership that details in depth exactly what all the rules and principles are for this against several formations. If you want to learn all that stuff, the Patreon has everything in it. So it's only $10 a month, and you get access to everything, all the updates, all the eBooks. So if you want to learn more about this concept, want to learn more about this defense, be sure to head on down to the description of the video. Click the link down below to go join the Patreon membership. I put that down in the description for you. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want to check out the membership, it's linked in the description below.